Morning everyone! I am literally sweating. It's so weird sweating when it's winter time. <laughs> but um, I have a really, really busy day today and I'm running late. My taxi is actually already outside. I'm running even later than I usually am, but my outfit of today is my Topshop hat, Simone Rocha jacket, Karen Millen shirt, Paige denim jeans, and um, Balenciaga boots and basically I'm gonna tell you all about what I'm up to today when I get down there because I literally don't have time but um, it's gonna be a good day um, I'm shooting with Carl Galvin so I'm gonna tell you what it's all about when I get down there good morning um, apologies for the rushed intro this morning um, I was running late and then my taxi was running late and we literally almost missed the, the train by like well if we hadn't have walked down when we did, we would have missed it. And that is not what you need to start your way. Is it Wednesday? It is. It is Wednesday. Good morning. I am with this one. Oh my God, I've got sleepy eye. I um, I went to bed at a reasonable time last night. What's what? reasonable for you? 11? Half 12. <laughs> <laughs> you, honestly, after yoga last night, I was dead to the world. I know. I slept like a baby. Ugh. I'm trying not to let my um, suitcase roll around in the back. But um, no, and I woke up, considering uh, usually like I, it takes me forever to fall asleep before a shoot. I woke up, it felt like I'd been hit by a bus. What? I know. It was like I hadn't slept a wink. But I'd like slept so well. It was so weird. So weird. <laughs> anyway. Um, just to bring you out to speed with what's happening today, I can't really tell you what I'm shooting. That seems today. to be the line. I know. Yeah. We're I'm doing the, a lot of secretive. There secretive is so stuff. Many, yeah, there's so much secretive stuff going on at the moment. I feel like secret squirrel, but um, <laughs> you're really like the MI6 of the vlogging world. Everything's. I'll take cover. it. I'll Go take it. Yeah, it's all undercover. The <laughs> name's Millen. <laughs> I just want a tootsie roll into everything. Like, <laughs> but no, I, I do hate being like that. And if it was up to me, I would actually just tell you, but it's not, and I get in those trouble. Even the other day, I was like, can I post this on social media? They're like, no, Lydia. No, I like, signed an NDA. Yeah. <laughs> that? But I am off to shoot with Mr. Kyle Galvin today. I'm doing a studio shoot, which actually, I, I think I only really ever do studio shoots when I'm like with L'Oreal and stuff like that. I don't really do studio shoots for, but that's something that I might like to change this year but we'll see how this goes. Um, so we're gonna be doing that for today and then I think afterwards, um, we're probably going to go and have some food. I might gate crash one of Carrie's um, dates. It's, um, it's not a real date, it's with a person that's a female that's, she's not, whatever. <laughs> it's a friend date. Um, and uh, so I might gate crash that and go and have some foodie food. But I'm also currently attempting to buy some stuff on Topshop. It's not often that I'm able to like buy loads of stuff from Topshop. Like I'll find like a piece here and a piece there, but it's not somewhere that I generally like haul from. Um, but I've just been on there and I'm actually gonna order quite a few items. So I'm gonna try and get it next day delivery so that I can show you maybe tomorrow um, if it does actually arrive in time. So um, I'm not gonna show you on here what I'm ordering, but just so you know in the future there is. Top shop stuff coming tomorrow. This is how I'm securing my suitcase. This is um, a hazard. I don't recommend it. No. But we appreciate the twinning. Yeah, I know. We are literally. Do you know, someone wrote on one of my videos once that um, I looked like Robin Hood men in tights, and I just said to Carrie that we look like Robin Hood men in tights. But obviously, we're not men. I don't know why would anyone would ever write that I look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> they always write that. <laughs> Hello, my Carrie. And when you walk back every night <laughs> Welcome to a shoot day! <laughs> she just needs to be told she's a sasspot. As soon as you tell her she's a sasspot, she's like, I am a sasspot. These are amazing guys. Liz, what am I doing with this? Carrie's vlog takeover. Carrie's vlog takeover, because I'm going to be a tree. <laughs> I'm going to be Carrie's the tree. Been, Carrie's been loving today because she's been carrying around branches and yeah. blossoms, and it says it reminds her of when she was in school plays at school and she played the tree. I could play a tree, so today I'm playing a tree. <laughs> Just follow every move. Touch me. Don't touch 
I actually haven't spoken to you um, whilst we were shooting because we were just getting so much so much content done and we oh my god I can't wait to show you what we shot today it's so good I'm here with Kyle Calvin yeah, hello. in the heavy <laughs> <laughs> no it's been such a good day and I think that now we're gonna go and grab some um, lunch at um, German gymnasium is that what it's called yeah we went there the other day and it was really it looked really nice but um, we'll see what the food is like and um, yeah what's the time we've like finished quite early it's Quarter past two. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's good. We were efficient today, and we had a little chat. We had like work politics chats and stuff like that, didn't we? <laughs> it, it was, was fun. It was fun. Yeah. I have been looking for you. Hello. We um. Finished up at the shoot with Kyle. Oh, he's just the loveliest, loveliest person ever. Like his vibes and his energy and just the person that he is. He's such good fun. I really do enjoy his company. So I've actually just been like under the covers in bed. I am exhausted. It was so weird last night. Like I fell asleep really well. I felt like I slept like an absolute baby. But when I woke up, it honestly felt like I hadn't slept at all. When I got home, I am absolutely shattered. And also my muscles ache massively. Now I'm trying to work out whether that is from the yoga because the yoga that we did the other night, in fact, I don't even think I told you, I managed to get on a yoga class at my gym and um, I loved it, absolutely loved it. Loved the teacher, loved the class. Um, it was slightly different to like the yoga that I've done when I used to go to the white space studio. That was very much like a relaxing, like there was lots of meditation in that and like it wasn't quite, it wasn't very like rigorous. And since I'd been going there, whenever I did like yoga classes for like trips, I really felt like quite competent. And um, like I think I said when I went to Champneys, I feel really competent and able and confident in what I'm doing and so this class was more of a challenge for me because it was a lot more rigorous a lot more fast paced fast paced and um just yeah I really enjoyed it really stretched myself out struggled a bit on the upper body stuff I have really poor especially wrist strength I don't really understand like I do stuff in the gym and like my my biceps could keep going but my wrists just give up basically so um that was really good i also met a subscriber when i was there which was really nice so i haven't been to the gym today and we were going to go to we were actually going to go to pilates tonight which we cancelled and then we were going to do spinning tomorrow but i've said to carrie that i think that we should just like take these two days out because we've done four classes in two days yeah so if we really want to we can go spinning on friday and then we are also going to celebrate getting our house as well so carrie and i are going to go out for that i'm going to go have some gins but um i literally just put the video where i announce that we're moving up on my channel and everyone has been so so lovely like it's it's so nice how many people can like relate and can understand and has been like it's obviously not lovely that so many of us have been through it but it's nice to know that it's not just me like it's not just me that has this bad luck you're all like don't worry about it i had like this and i was like pregnant and oh my god I, it makes mine feel so like minuscule in comparison but it's it's sad that such an amazing thing oh hi there um, it's sad that such an amazing thing is also quite stressful until you get in there But it's nice that you guys know now so I can actually show you like the state of our living room like look at this This is what our that corner looks like at the moment and That corner there is also another box behind the lamp um, And there's just not really much else that's going on in here, but there are oh my god 
my hips, like properly stretched out my hips. Um, what I do have are these three boxes here. And I believe that these three boxes contain what is Ali's Valentine's Day present to me. So he got me the flowers and um, which are still going strong and they look absolutely beautiful in the kitchen. So when we moved in, we were like literally on a shoestring budget. We were literally using the crockery and like knives and forks that I had when I was at university. And then we got some bits from Ikea, but it's always been really mishmashed. And the only nice thing that we had were our gin glasses and our mugs that we had, the wave ones from Villaroy and Bosch. And I've always wanted a really nice um, dinner set. And I want to get a really posh one. You know, the ones that you like never use, <laughs> but they are so expensive it hurts. And I am just not ready to like put our entire um, wedding gift money on that. So I found this really lovely set at the White Company and Ali said that I could have that as my Valentine's Day present. So I, I didn't think it was going to come in like 8 million boxes, but it has. So I thought that we could open it together and have a little bit of a mini homeware haul. How do you feel about that? I hope you feel happy about it because I'm happy about it. And there's going to be a lot of homeware hauls because I have a lot of stuff to buy. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought we'd open those together. So I'm going to pop you down and um, pop you there. Hello munchkin, what are you doing? What are you doing? So, oh my God, my bum hurts so much. <sighs> what is this bit of hair that keeps sticking up? Okay, so this is the first box and this feels quite light. So I'm guessing that maybe this doesn't have any of the like crockery in. Paperwork and all the packaging in here. So there's all like miniature boxes in here. Lynx is helping unpack. Lummy is coming to help to help as well. <laughs> you my little helpers. Okay, this is actually some of the crockery. Lynx, can you get your head out of it, please? So these are our little teacups. So these are the mini ones and we have six of those. Oh, wow, oh my goodness, they packaged all of this so well. So we are opening another box and this has our big teacups in. So this is called the Simmons Collection. We have Little and Large, Lydia and Ali. <laughs> so we've got six of each of those. So weird, I thought that it was four. It's good to know that we've got six of each and not four because I thought that I'd get four to begin with and then we might need to get more. And also in here are our new bowls. Now I was going to unpack all of this stuff but part of me is thinking that maybe I shouldn't. So these are our new cereal bowls which are nice and deep because I don't like like a small amount of cereal. If I'm having a bowl of cereal, it's like here. So when I saw these, I was like, yep, that's the Lydia bowl right there. And they're just really nice, delicate china. I just, I loved them when I saw them. They're just simple, but delicate. So I'm actually gonna leave them wrapped. So I'll show you the bit, but I think, I think Ali is right that we don't want to, um, break them when we transport them so these can actually stay packaged. I was going to get them out and start using them and package up the old stuff but Ali is right. You heard it here first. Ali is right. Ah! You are going to bloody hurt yourself one day. So you can do that back up and label that to go straight to the kitchen. I was thinking about just getting rid of the stuff that we've already got, but um, I did actually rethink that because it's it's quite old and gross now, but in case we do ever need like extra plates or bowls because we can have a lot more people at our house, it's probably good to keep them. So that's what we're gonna do. Box number two is a lot heavier. So, it's a bit dangerous though. I really like how light this stuff is. It's not like really heavy. Do you know what I mean? You know when sometimes it's 
Oh, is this one of my pasta bowls? No, this is my serving bowl. How nice is that? So they had like the whole set on the website and I thought I couldn't like not get this as well. I think I got a jug as well, which looked really, really beautiful. Now this is quite a big box. So there was a section, like a part of the dinner set. Oh my God, it's me. It's my jug. No. So these are the candlesticks. Oh my gosh, I didn't need candlesticks, but I did need these. Now these are probably so delicate. I absolutely fell in love with these. Now they're only 25 pounds each, but look. Oh. So in my kitchen, I have a center aisle, which I really want to have two of these candlesticks and then a really beautiful bunch of flowers in the center of, and obviously candles as well. So um, I'll have some Jo Malone candles on there and then some sticks and some flowers, but these were just too beautiful to pass up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna wrap those back up as well before this little mister causes any more damage. I forgot that I asked him for those. How funny. This is the huge set. So this comes with like all of the different plates and um, I think some bowls as well. I'm so sorry for all of the rustling. It's gonna make this really annoying, but they are being really annoying. So in this one, we have these plates, which I think are the small plates. Some bowls, these are like pasta bowls. So they're like shallow bowls like that. I don't have proper pasta bowls, so. Um, this is a bit of a treat. I've got like two and they've all got like cracks down them and stuff. So um, to have proper pasta bowls makes me very happy. And then we have the dinner plates, our big, lovely dinner plates. So that's the set that kind of like sparked it all. When I, could saw, when I saw this set, I was kind of like, ah, this is the kind of thing we want for like everyday use. <sighs> and then we have the final box, which I'm trying to work out whether it is heavy or not. <laughs> like, it's kind of like heavy at one end and then not at the other. So in here, ooh, we have our saucers. So these are our saucers for the mugs. Yeah, these are the Simmons tea plate. Lovely. So exciting. <laughs> getting excited about tea plates. I'm not getting excited about utility rooms. I'm getting excited about tea plates. That is life right now. And we have some more bowls. So these are like dessert bowls, which links. Do you do you mind? <laughs> dessert bowls. Side plate. Is it, I think this is my jug. This is my jug, my little jug, little jug jug. Little jug. Yay! How cute is my little jug? How cute is it? How cute? Is it as cute as you? It bloody isn't, is it? And then that's the other candlestick. So I got two of them. So I'm going to pop that one in there to go in there. We have a big spring candle. This is their honeysuckle rose and cut grass large scented candle. I just want my entire house to smell of spring. I want to get a spring wreath to go on the door. I'm, that is one thing I'm doing. I've always said this, if I ever have a really beautiful door. Wow, I don't think I've ever smelt their spring candle. You guys know I'm obsessed with their winter one, but, oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, that is like, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm so happy. I actually only asked for it because it said spring on it and I hadn't smelt it. And the fact that it smells absolutely beautiful is a plus. I love that. I didn't think that they could top their winter candle, but hello. <laughs> so that's gonna go back in the box as well because, you know, I needed more candles. Oh, this is our new cutlery set. Also from the White Company, but this is Robert Welch. Ali is going to kill me for opening this. Oh, wow. This is so nice. Look. 
look. Oh my goodness. I feel so posh. Ali is going to love these. The weight of them is so nice. Oh, these are so posh. These are almost too posh. So, um, that's everything in my kitchen homeware haul. <laughs> this one has been an absolute terror. And now I'm going to tidy up down here and wait for Ali to get home. And I'm probably going to have a cup of tea and biscuits because it's my favourite thing to do. Get off the plastic. <sighs> Good morning everyone. I am quite bleary eyed today. It's not even that early to be honest, but I don't know what is wrong with me at the moment. I'm not like waking up fresh. I'm waking up quite like, uh, uh, I'm going to go and do a spin class followed by a yoga class. I don't know where this has come from, this like desire to do two classes in one day. I have no idea, okay? Just no idea. We're doing it. This is the sixth class that I've done this uh, week. So we did four classes in two days earlier on. And I was a bit kind of like, okay, we need to take a few days off because it was like Tuesday that we did our last classes. So we took Wednesday and Thursday <laughs> and Friday. <laughs> Went in my mouth. And um, last night I went to the cinema with Ali. We just had a chill day. We filmed a little thingy for Pandora, which is really cute. And we are good to go. I've got this new bottle as well. This is from Free People, but it was Neil's Yard that sent it to me. It's got rose quartz in it, which is supposed to purify the water naturally. Um, put, I put it on my Instagram stories. Everyone loved it. <laughs> I love it. It's the like snazziest looking uh, bottle ever. But I've just got my usual outfit on. Gymshark leggings, um, sweaty Betty vest. I'm going to whack a jumper on as well, just for yoga. And oh, I'm over here. <laughs> And um, I will probably see you afterwards because I'm not really going to take my camera with me at the gym today. So, yeah, I'll see you there. I'm sort of midway doing my face at the moment. It's actually been quite a chilled weekend, to be fair. I thought that we were gonna do maybe like a little bit of packing again, but we didn't. We actually just took it off and spent some time with our friends. Um, I ended up doing a spin class and a yoga class with Carrie. Um, we're gonna go and see the Italian side of my family, which is always lovely and always means a lot of food. Also means a lot of food that upsets my tummy, but I think it would upset my non nan more than it would upset my tummy if I didn't eat it. So I'm just gonna enjoy, because she's an amazing cook, but bless her, she doesn't really understand um, things like tummy intolerances and not eating certain things. I let it go a little bit. I don't take it too seriously today, but I know that I'll be paying the price later when I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of day that I live for. It's frosty, but it's sunny. It kind of tells you that spring is more like on the way. Yeah, I'm kind of over winter now. You know how much I love winter? By this time of year, I'm like, let's just get on with it. Also yesterday, I kind of let Ali know that I thought that we should probably actually start buying stuff for the house. And I'm currently on the hunt for a sofa and two armchairs to match those bar stools. So um, what I need is a really beautiful light dove gray sofa. Um, it's more in like a fabric material. It's not like velvet or anything like that. It's it's quite like a soft, like it's quite a soft fabric. And I want the sofa to match, but I also want it to be buttoned. So the button back sofas, as well as having chrome studs. So if you can find sofas that have like, brass studs but chrome is what I want in the kitchen. I've kind of made the um, mood board for the kitchen so I want to make a start on the bedroom because those are the two rooms that I want to get furnished as quickly as possible. I'm going to finish off my makeup because um, I actually can't do two things at once and I can't do my makeup whilst I talk to you because I've got so much to tell you about but I'm not doing my makeup and we actually have to leave in like an hour. I'm going to get on get this done and um, then Speak to you in a bit. Also, wanted to tell you about a lipstick that I'm loving at the moment. This, um, I got delivered that massive wheel of Marc Jacobs lip products. It was actually to launch one of their other lipsticks. However, I have fallen in love with the Le Marc Liquid Lip, and this is in 452, Fawn Over Me. I've got this over MAC Spice, which is obviously like kind of my standard base for every nude lip but really love the texture of this. It doesn't dry out. It's quite nourishing actually. It feels really nourishing on my lips and comfortable to wear. Doesn't tend to move around too much and actually lasts quite long as well. I think I applied this like once when I went out for dinner last night. So, nah, 
loving this. <laughs> very, very happy with it. I've also got the NARS foundation on today, which I literally have not stopped wearing since I did uh, the shoot the other day with, with Kyle. Oh, just looking at, in fact, I've got one of the finished images, which will already be up, so I can show you it. We were just so happy with how the pictures came out. Um, and literally that is my skin and how it looked on the day. It is just super radiant. I just love it. I've seen some people say that it's not radiant. I think maybe sometimes it's like different skin tones, but on my skin, it just, it is so luminous. I love it. Pretty much done now, so I'm gonna pick my outfit. I think I'm just gonna wear something quite comfortable today. Nothing too snazzy. Oh, I'm so excited to see everyone. Like my auntie is literally like me. Um, we have like, well you saw her in my video when we went and got our moles removed together. She's just the funniest person ever. She makes me laugh so much. Makeup is finished and hair kind of didn't really need a lot doing to it to be honest because I tied it up in a way that meant that it didn't really get too kinky so I can just, <laughs> kinky, and I can just pop a hat on and um, it looks all right. This is my new beret. I got this from Topshop and I will link it down below but I'm wearing it with a Chanel brooch but I've just popped this on my 12 pound beret from Topshop and it just gives it a bit of a different feel and um, I really like it. I feel very French and I'm very happy that I found a way to wear berry, be berries berets not feel silly because I think I was trying on the black one and it didn't really suit me and I think that's because it just kind of blends into my hair this one is kind of like a beigey one and I really like it the outfit that I'm wearing I'm going to turn around and show you I'm not showing you in my bedroom because a bit of a mess in there at the moment it's not much better in here but we're we're doing what we can in this situation but this is my outfit I've got my page denim jeans and my Balenciaga um, knife boots. I'm in love with my um, Simone Rocha coat again. Unfortunately, I've never like found it in stock again. This is like one of those items that you just put on and it makes the outfit. I'm literally wearing an all black outfit basically, but this coat just elevates the outfit so much that you just pop it on with anything and it works. Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton and I've got my beret from Topshop. Umper is from a brand called Me and M. You will have heard of Me and M so many times on my channel because I love the brand so much and um, they just do really, really good quality items but they're not actually like, they're not a hugely known brand. I think they've got like one or two stores. So I'll link their website. You can go and have a check out of their stuff. They just do amazing quality stuff. But this is what I'm wearing today. Ali and I are now gonna jump in the car and drive all the way down to just outside of London um, to go and see my non and non -no. And then like my brother's gonna be there, my nephews, um, my sister-in-law, my auntie. I think my mum's going. So um, it should be it should be a really nice day. I got this in a Clinique parcel. This is a turmeric shot. I've never done one of these. Apparently they're supposed to be really good for you. If I like them, I think I'll just start making them at home because we don't have fancy things like detox kitchen here in uh, Milton Keynes. <laughs> Not sure how this is gonna go. I'm a little bit worried. I'll shake it first. They sent me their, um, the Clinique fresh pressed stuff. I've not actually tried this before. I saw Caroline Hirons going on about it and I was like, well clearly I need it if she's talking about it. It's anti-aging, pure vitamin C. I'm worried because it seems like quite a lot of like different components so I might need a degree to put it together but we'll see. Maybe we'll try this tonight. When do you use it? Do you use it at night or do you use it in the day? So this came with that. Oh god, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> These things always worry me. If you watched my Champneys vlog, you'll remember what that was like. Oh gosh, it smells like celery. I mean, it's a bit like nothing eat. <clears throat> Aftertaste isn't that great. We've done most of the journey down. We're currently in, I think this is like just on the outskirts of Harrow. And um, we've been having a bit of a team meeting in the car and just chatting, haven't we? Yeah. It's been good, hasn't it? It's been lovely. Ali's doing um, laid back casual today. He's in Why his joggers. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, we've literally not eaten in preparation this. for this. This is what we always do. Whenever we go to Nonna's, no breakfast, nothing. We just go down because there's like 8 million courses of food and it's all incredible. My tummy is definitely going to hurt later on, but um, that is something that I'm going to happily take because Nonna's cooking is the best. She's talking we, we about this Ben Miller. What? Debbie. Debbie told me what? to be here oh, yeah, an hour early. I know. Yeah. 
Because knowing Lydia, yeah. <laughs> she's always later, late. But she's the one to talk. She's I know, I know. What are you doing? I'm filming your lovely dinner table. I can't believe how many people. Who's oh, coming? Okay. Listen, when you when you need to make a table cross, a table like this. Yeah. Call me. Okay. All right. I'll call you. <laughs> no need for a picture. <laughs> Shut up. No need for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't say that she, she's been in the bathroom all morning. And when she's doing your makeup. Out, it's all done. <laughs> you are such a wind up merchant. <laughs> then I came in and said, to For God's sake, that's not the way, okay? You had to redo it. But we have too many. I don't know how we sit. Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, right. Well, me and Ali can sit on the sofa and eat. No, it's okay. Good yeah. morning, everyone. Um, I left you. After I was at my nonna and nonna's house, um, I didn't actually vlog anymore whilst I was there because my nonna's actually not very well. <laughs> and um, I thought that I, it would just be more important for me to just spend some time with them. But I realized that A, I did not um, finish off this vlog with my Topshop bits that I bought. So I'm gonna show you those, definitely gonna show you those. But since the beginning of this vlog, um, some of like a few of the things that I have coming up have kind of been announced or there's been like sneak peeks. Like the Jimmy Choo campaign that I shot is now out. So if you want to see a sneak peek of that, it is over on my Instagram now. Um, I've also announced, um, well, shown like a sneak peek of a collaboration that I've been doing and I've been working on for so, so long. It is so exciting, nearly a year ago now. So it's really, really exciting. So if you want to see a sneak peek of that as well, you can go and see that on my Instagram too. If you aren't following me on Instagram, it's just at Lydia E. Millen and I'm a lot more active on there nowadays. I really enjoy Instagram, especially Instagram stories and I've kind of like organized everything on my page. So there's always like highlights of everything that I've been doing. I've also had a few dates come in and um, I'm so, so incredibly excited about this. I, well, the end of this month there's going to be something coming out which um, I'm just so proud to be a part of and I can't wait for you to see that. Um, I think it's like literally end of February so that's really really exciting for me especially um, and I yeah it's just so much fun. I've, like, I was working on it before the wedding and it's I can't wait for you to see it. Um, but also it's come about that I'm going to be coming to Ireland and I know that I have an absolutely huge Irish audience and um, Ali's always making fun of me because I'm always chatting to like Irish girls on um, Instagram direct message so yeah I, I, I don't have like the full details yet and when I do get them I will be letting you know on Instagram stories and probably Twitter as well but I am coming over to Ireland and I am going to be doing a meetup as well. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while. I've wanted to come over to Ireland and do something like this for a while. So this is so, so exciting for me. Um, so as soon as I get the information, I will let you know. But I'm not gonna keep you waiting for this Topshop haul any longer. It's, it's not a huge Topshop haul and I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be keeping, but there are a few little bits in there that I thought you would probably like to see. So um, I am going to get to it, everything that's um, featured. And obviously I did my white company haul as well. So, so I'll be sure that everything is linked down below. And and um, my office is such a bloody mess at the moment. I'm gonna be um, unboxing all of this stuff in another video and um, it's been sat there. I don't know what is in any of that stuff and I just, I want to rip it open, okay? I want to rip it open. <laughs> I've got all of my wedding dress stuff back from the dry cleaners and I want to film a video of all of the the outfits that I had um, from Halfpenny and um, I think I'm gonna wait and film it at the new house. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save it until we move so I've got more space because obviously some of the dresses are quite big and I want to be able to show you full length and just have a little bit more space to do it. So these are currently just hanging here and they're getting in the way but um, it just keeps reminding me that I'm gonna film this video. So this is the first item that I bought from Topshop and it's this um, dress, sorry, this is like the noisiest bag ever, it's from Chloe. This is the first time I'm actually trying this dress on and I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I think I'd stick a black polo neck underneath because it's a little bit low for me. Um, once upon a time, I probably would have happily worn this, um, but now it's, it's just, it doesn't feel right to have something that low on. But I love how it feels kind of almost like workwear but it's got a trend focus kind of like my Karen Millen haul but um it's got this really nice checked fabric it probably looks a little bit gray but it definitely has a workwear feel to it and then it's got these big like 
puff sleeves which I love and I've popped it with my Topshop hat as well and then my Karen Millen, no not Karen Millen, Victoria Beckham boots. But actually I really 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 like this. At this time of year I'd probably have to wear this um, with tights because it's probably a bit cold but as we move into spring I'm hoping that I'll be able to wear this but yeah it's a bit of a dark horse this I've put this on and I actually really like it so you'll probably see me wearing um, this dress this week in my vlogs <laughs> and when you put something on and you're like oh this is like sat in my wardrobe for a couple of days I didn't realize <laughs> the hat is also from Topshop um, this did come back into stock I love it um, some people don't, but I absolutely love it. So I'll link this all down below, this whole outfit actually, because this bag is um, still this season. Um, unfortunately, the boots are not, but there are a very similar pair from Gianvito Rossi, which I would link down below as well. Very short, <laughs> so I'd probably have to wear like shorts underneath it. Did anyone do that at school? They wore their pea shorts under their skirts, or was that just me? Um, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, happy with this actually. I will probably wear this this week. But I also wanted to show you two or three, three of the other things that I bought from Topshop as well. Gone a bit hat crazy at the moment, loving hats. Um, definitely do me a favor on a day where I'm having a bad hair day. More berets, I actually have a black beret as well. Never worn it because I think it's too dark for my hair. There's, I think you have to go for like certain colors with berries. So I went for this nude one and um, obviously this will go with a lot of like my handbags, like my Louis Vuitton handbag, um, but I have popped my Chanel brooch. Really got into wearing berries though at the moment. I was kind of feeling like they weren't suiting me, um, but the queen of berries, Liv Purvis, messaged me when I was wearing this and she was like, was thinking I needed a Chanel brooch, and now I do. So if I got the seal of approval from um, Liv Purvis, then I will take it. Um, but this is kind of like the oatmeal tan color, and um, really, really loving this. Then I went for this kind of pink color. And again, I would probably put the brooch on here, or maybe like a Dior brooch or something like that. I really want to get a leather beret as well. This one I haven't obviously worn yet, because you probably haven't seen me wearing it. Um, this is to go with like my dual handbag um, but pink is not like definitely a pink hat is a bit out there for me so I am um, I haven't quite got round to it yet but really like the color of it actually it's a nice subtle kind of um, very now pink probably doesn't go with this outfit though this one I'm not too sure about it's still got the tag on it <laughs> my fluffy hair it's still got the tag on it and um, I thought that this might add like a touch of color to my outfits but I think I prefer like the leather finish gold buttons or something I mean that's something that I could always customize it I could get some I've always got the old like Balmain blazer buttons knocking around so I could sew those onto there and just make it a little bit more special who knows <laughs> um, so that's all of like the accessories this is the dress and then I've got two like jumpsuits so I'll show you those now so this is the first jumpsuit and when I saw this on Topshop I was in, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to show you all of it. I was instantly like, oh my God, yes. This is like a kind of workwear jumpsuit. I thought that maybe I could put a shirt with it, but I'm not too sure. I haven't tried yet, but mainly I haven't tried because I've bought a size four in it. Okay, I bought a six and a four because sometimes I can be a little bit smaller in jumpsuits, but this is ridiculous. This is the four and there is absolutely no way that I am smaller than a four. Um, in fact, it's very rare that I am a four, but it's just so big. I mean, like, it's like hanging down here and I pull it up and it just falls back down and it's just a really awkward length on like my shoes, but I love it. So I think, I don't know whether I'm gonna like get it shortened because if it was that length, look how much nicer that is. It's just a very weird length, isn't it? Like it's not to the floor and it's not like cropped. So I might do that because even that looks instantly better. Maybe I can like have it pulled up there. I just can't get over how much fabric there is at the back. Like I can literally grab it like that and popping it with like a burgundy handbag to match like the burgundy down the side. Um, I love it. I really love the whole idea. It's just not a great fit. So perhaps I can take this to be tailored so that it does fit nicely, obviously popped it with my uh, Baker Boy hat, <laughs> which I love. I think, I think we could like make, if I, you know, I wouldn't usually take something to be altered like this, but I haven't actually seen anything like this. So I think that maybe it could be something really nice if it's sort of done right. So yeah, this is the final item from Topshop. And this is like a denim 
a jumpsuit kind of thing, dungaree jumpsuit. This is how I think the other one should fit. However, I bought this in a size six thinking that, you know, I wouldn't need a size four. There is, it is absolutely huge. Like this is, this is weird. Like I feel like Topshop has changed their sizing or something. It needs to be like much tighter like this, but it's not, it's like that. So it's such a shame actually, because I really, really like the cut of it. I really like the um, pockets and I love the color of the denim, um, but I'll link it down below and I'm gonna try and take this back and get the four and see if that fits. But yeah, so that is um, everything. Oh my God, my hair's a mess now from all of the hats. Um, yeah, so that is everything in that I bought from Topshop and I really didn't want this vlog to finish without me showing you because I hate it when I tell you I'm gonna do something like show you what I bought from Topshop and then I don't. So that's it for this week's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming on the shoot with me and just seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes. And um, also I hope that you're excited for what's to come over the next few months because I'm really excited. Um, let me know what your favorite items were from the haul and um, let me know if you'll be picking anything up. Also. If you have any suggestions for homeware websites, I would love to know. I'm currently doing a lot of homeware shopping, as I'm sure you're aware if you follow me on social media. And um, I just really, I'm really enjoying it and I'm enjoying discovering other places. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, I'll see you in my next video.